I'm really happy to take part of this compared of Redwood because it's a game I've worked for a long time and I really do love the mechanics. I'm excited that you can try this and you can take photography of nice animals. I will show you the games I've designed and have been released. Uh, on the market. So the first one was Hacker. Hacker is uh, a game about stealing money of the others and you have to put virus cards on the other bank accounts. So my second game was Sandwich. It's a game where you have to like cook sandwiches with cards that are showing. Each card is showing an ingredient. Each sandwich is containing three ingredient cards and you have to give them to the other players and you try to find sandwiches that will, that will plead them so you have to know your friends and what they like. Very funny. There is Cold Express. It's very very cool because with this game we, we won't like... I say we because uh, it's with Ludo not and uh, Cédric Lefebvre, who helped me a lot to design this game and to become what it's become today. It's like, you can see the big bone of the Spiel des you, you receive <laughs> when you win the thing. And it's because of this game I can live from Colt Express today. There will be a new one at the end of the, of the year. Uh, it's a game where you have a second train that is crossing the first one and you have to jump on the other, other train to get uh, a special loot. This new expansion will be played by teams. I hope you will like it. Also with Ludonaut is Star Clicker, uh, which is a game when you are in a spaceship, you are a kid, your parents are not there, and you have to protect the planet because there is uh, an alien attack and you have buttons on the board like here and you are pushing buttons but at the f at first you don't know which buttons are used for what so you have to try them it's a cooperative game so all on a team you have to understand who is working your spaceship obviously there are a lot of games here uh, there are a lot of games i didn't release because for maybe one release game there are like 10 or 15 prototypes <laughs> I've learned that every game is not worth to be on the market. I mean, that there are so much, so many board games in the market and even very good games sometimes are not seen. One of, um, of my responsibility to, to choose which games I want to put energy in. I want to share my passion with board games and I want to share some sometimes emotions or like special interactions between players, I have to choose which ones I like. And I really do love the ones that are inside Redwood. You will see it later. Yes, and that's what I like. So the game the Redwood gameplay was like very very intentional. I mean I wanted to get the idea, the feeling of being a photographer and for me taking a, a picture was to choose wisely where to be and where see where, where you're putting your objective you have to compose your picture by placing your by placing your character at the, at the right place and seeing in the right direction and for this i used like little rulers like warhammer I, I when i was young i was playing warhammer a lot even if i didn't really like rolling a lot of dice and stuff i really loved the fact that you have to try to find the right distances and you have to try to to find the right the good ones right what is really about that every time you are moving you're using one of these ruler and there are different sizes so you have to find the right one <laughs> you cannot try them and it is the same when you're taking a picture 
you have to use this and to find the right objective you want to, to, to try. And I love estimation because it's not sure, you, you, you're you never sure uh, of your move. I mean, you, you're never 100% sure your move is working. You have to try it and that's what I like. How many risks are you taking this situation? You have to find the right balance between doing a lot of points because there are many ways to do points in Redwood and doing something you are quite sure you can perform without any mistakes. <laughs> I couldn't say it's something always important in game for me, but in this game in particular it's really important because what I want to share as a game designer is emotions, is the experience and in Redwood the experience is closely linked to um, the components you're using or, or the game through. The experience you're living when you're playing game and Redwood is also very linked to what you're doing with your hands and with your body because you have to use your eyes to, est to estimate the right distances you have to put them on the board and this is really important actually it's a fun story because when I first started to work in Redwood I called my father, which uh, is like a photographer himself. He's not doing it for a living, but uh, he always liked it. I just asked him, explain what you can for a newcomer like me, because I had some notions, but not, not, many, not, not more about photography. And he explained me what he could. And the thing is, with a board game, it's always a simulation. It's not the reality, it's a... Uh, a simplification of the reality. It's very fun. You have to find which are the very good ideas, important things you want to put into the game because you cannot take all of the things. I chose to put uh, away the timing because wh when you're taking a picture, the the time opening of uh, of your um, lenses. I don't I don't know that terms in English but it's really important and it was really hard to make understand that to the players it wasn't really easy to see so I chose to keep only the fact that you have objective like why like this you can you can have a wide vision but you cannot take animals that are far away and on the other side, you have these teleobjective ones. You can take very, very far animals, but on the other side, you cannot see like very uh, around yourself. So you, you have to choose always. And that's really interesting. Actually, I tried this game with a lot of kind of players big players, big gamers, uh, my family and my mother, my wife as well. And then there are not a lot of players that don't like this game because it's it's quite easy to understand. I mean, the only player that don't like it, it's the players that really want to control everything in the game because the estimation part of the game make you sometimes feeling like you don't will make it or it's too random but actually it's very not that random I mean it's more you play the game more you know what kind of action is risky or not people that really don't like this game it may be people that like uh, only optimization game even if there is part of optimization in Redwood but if you want to have fun if you like photography, what what is made for you, actually. I, I won't explain it technical way. I would say in Redwood, you have to take the best photography you can by placing your character in the best position, looking 
in the right direction with the right objective, a new camera, and like compose your picture and your panorama to make it the more appealing for players. Actually, it's quite new for me. I like pledged my focus starter maybe two years ago only. I see a real good point in Kickstarter that you can talk about your game very, very long time before it's going out in the market. And this way there is um, a lot of people that want to follow what you're doing. They, 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 I mean, they can follow it, they can give advices, and they are waiting for it. And that's really important because as I said earlier, some very good games are not seen by the players because bad communication or maybe only too much board games released at the same time. But sometimes on Kickstarter, there is only, I mean, the focus is only made on the graphics or um, on the, the, the components of the game. Sometimes the mechanisms are not good enough and people are like doing a Kickstarter because they didn't find a real publisher. They want so badly the game to be uh, to, to become reality, so they are doing themselves. In the case of Redwood, it's not the case, I mean, because uh, Sit Down wanted to publish the game anyway, and even if the campaign is not working, uh, they the game will be out on the, on the market uh, sooner or later. It's only a way for them to, I mean, not only, but it's a way for them to show uh, the game and give him the, the more chance to, to, to work, actually. <laughs> and I designed Redwood to share my passion of board games and, and to share my passion of taking pictures in a way, because I like this way of thinking about putting you, yourself in the right position and planning the best moves see if it's working or not. So I, I love these impressions. So if you like it, just share it to your friends. And if you can share it, I, I, I'll be so, so pleased that, I mean, my passion for the, game, the board games has reached someone. So that, that's perfect. Thank you for uh, listening to me, even if I'm not always clear. And uh, <laughs> see you soon, <laughs> maybe play with you soon as well. Bye-bye. <laughs>